Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back again to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync Mac OS with Android devices. You can send information from the Mac to the Android and from the Android to the Mac. All that we are going to need is the USB data cable. But before we dive into the video, if you are new to the channel, this is a case input tech where we simplify tech for you. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and turn on your bell notification so you never miss any update. Now let's get started. So to sync your Mac OS with your Android device, you need to watch this video to the end because I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step approach to do that, okay? And you don't have to miss any of the steps. So to get started, we are going to download an application called Android File Transfer for Mac OS. So I'm going to click on my Safari. Then I'll click on Google. Then I'll search for... Okay, it's there already. So I'll click on that. Android file transfer Mac. Okay, so I'll click on that and then I'm going to click on the first one p2hp.com. Okay, so I'm going to click on the Android file transfer and this is the home page we can do the download. Okay, so you can see from here Android file transfer, browse and transfer files between your Mac computer and your Android device. So I'm going to click on the download button to initiate the download. So it's downloading the file, okay? You can see from here. Okay, so the download is done, okay? So I'm going to close the browser and then I'll go to my download, okay? So I'm going to open the Android file transfer. So let me click on the download again. Then I'll click and open my Android file transfer, okay? But before then, you have to connect your Android device to their Mac, okay, via the USB data cable, okay? So to install the Android file transfer on your Mac OS, you simply have to drag and drop it to the application folder, okay? So to do that, I've opened the application folder. Okay, so I, I just double clicked on the application folder. So I'm going to drag and drop the Android file transfer into the application folder. So, so that is how to install any application on Mac OS. Okay, so I'm going to drag it and drop it here. So it's installed. Okay, so after you've done that, let me close this. I'm going to double click on the Android file transfer, okay? So I'm going to open the application. Okay, can't access device, so make sure your device is unlocked. Okay, so I'm going to unlock my phone. Okay, so before you do that, you have to unlock your device. Okay, okay, so I've unlocked my USB or my Android device. Okay, so you first have to unlock your Android device. So you have to enable file transfer on your Android device. That's what I just did. Okay, so I'm going to open the Android file transfer again. And now this is my Infinix X600 device, okay? So this is my files, okay? So let me go through my files or my folders, okay? So I created a folder, hidden file vault, okay? So I'm going to copy a, f a file from the hidden file vault to the Mac OS. So let me close this application. And then I'll double click on my hidden file vault. And I have audio file, document, and then video files as well, okay? So I'm going to open the audio files. And I'm going to copy this file to the desktop of Mac OS. So I'm copying the files to the Mac OS, okay? Okay, it's done copying. So let me copy this one as well.
okay it's done copying and then to copy files from mac os to the android device you can also drag and drop it to the android device so let me create a new folder and then name it mac okay so i'll open the mac and then i'll copy i'll drag and drop it to the folder so you see i've just i just copied it from the mac desktop to my folder on my android device okay so i'll just drag and drop it and now i have my files in the folder i just created on my android device called mac okay so it's very simple and easy to do when you want to sync your mac os to your android device okay so this is how to sync mac os to your android device and this brings us to the end of the tutorial please if you find value in this video kindly support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button liking the video and turning on your bell notification for more tech tips thank you for watching and bye bye for now